Now, in this video, we'll see how can we install the SQL Server. Here, we are going to install the SQL Server 2014 Express, which is free of cost and we don't have to pay anything for it. So let's quickly go to the systems and see about the installation process of SQL Server. Here, I'm going to download and install SQL Server 2014 Express in my machine. I chose Express as it is free of cost and you don't have to pay anything for using this product. So for downloading it, first of all, I will have to come to the download center of Microsoft where as you can see in the URL, the product ID is 42299. You can easily search by coming to the download center of Microsoft. Now here, just choose the language you want to select and say download. As soon as you will do that, in the next screen you will get a couple of options, a many options from where you can choose. Here I am going to choose a couple of options like first is the 64-bit Express, SQL Express ENU.exe. What this will do? It will actually create a database in my machine and will make my system a database server. But how can I access that database? Obviously I need an interface for that. I will come here and will choose the management studio for 64-bit as I am working with the 64-bit operating system. If you are working with 32-bit, go for that. And just say next. As soon as you will do that, the downloading will be begin and as soon as the downloading is done, we will start with the installation. Now as here you can see, a couple of files has been downloaded. So I will execute this one first and later the management studio. So as soon as I will click on this, the extraction of file will begin. It will take some time. Now as you can see it is about to done. And as soon as it is done, you will find one folder right here inside which there will be a setup.exe. It will execute automatically as soon as it is done as uh, you may see like the setup will be about to start. But if it is not, you can directly come here and make a double click. Now, as you can see, the setup is being started for me and we'll start with the wizard. So from this one, what I'll do, I'll come to the installation and we'll go for the first option where I'll be allowed to create a new standalone installation for the SQL Server. Now, it will give me another wizard which will allow me to install the database. So from this wizard, Let's start with accepting the license terms. Say next. In this step, it will do some checking in the system whether all the things are fine accordingly to it or not. If it is done, as you see, it proceeded by itself. And now here, you will have to choose the database engine services and SQL Server application. While we are working with the SQL Server, you may get a number of options like the database engine, integration services, analysis services or reporting services. Here we will be focusing on the database engines, so I will have to choose that and will say next. Now in this step, you will have to give a name to your database instance. As if I will go to the default, I will get an MS SQL Server. And if you want to give some another name, you will come. You will you can come to the named instance, and here you can give a customized name. I'll go with the default instance. We'll say next. I don't need to change anything in this step, as it is just saying like this: database engine service will be start up automatically while the SQL Server browser is disabled. If you want to make any changes into these, you can simply go to services.msc, that is Microsoft console, and can make the changes in these things. In this step of wizard, you will have to choose how you want to access your database, means how you want to do the login. By default, it is the Windows authentication. That means the user which is doing the installation in your machine will be allowed to access the database as it is the server or system administrator. But you can also come to the mixed mode where you will have to give a username and password and you can simply get connected. You will get both the database authentication that is SQL Server authentication and OS authentication that is Windows authentication in this mixed mode. As the username, you can use the SA that is System Administrator 
and here you can enter any password which you will use later in order to make the login say next and now the installation progress is getting started it will take some time as for your system configuration and as soon as it is done we will move to the installation of management studio and now the installation is completed and we'll have to restart my system as soon as we'll restart we'll start installing the management studio now let's execute the second file that is the management studio for installing the interface through which we can access the database which we just installed like the express again I have to extract the files and now as soon as it is uh, extracted the setup will begin here again you will have to come here for the inst standalone installation for SQL Server all these steps are taken to check the existing components in your system alright now here you can choose the uh, existing database to add the features say next and from here you can choose the client tools in order to access the database in a UI as here you can see the management tools are there so you can simply check them and say next here you will not find the options for the database engine that's why first of all we have installed the SQL Express in order to get the database engine and to create a database and now the installation process is begun once it is done maybe we'll have to restart the system and after that we will be good enough to access the database from the management studio so now the installation is done and from the next video onwards we'll see how can we start accessing the database from the SQL Server Management Studio